So today's video is about the Slishman traction splint. Okay, so when you break your femur, the bones will shorten. The traction splint applies traction to the bones so that they pull apart again. This reduces pain and reduces the bleeding in the leg. It's a one size fits all, don't need to size for different size patients, and it uh, is able to be uh, imaged. So you can go into an x-ray. The main benefit of this one, uh, as opposed to other types, is that it doesn't extend beyond the foot. This is really good for mountain rescue and for rescue uh, in helicopters. And it can also be put on uh, a broken femur if also your lower leg uh, bones are broken as well, or you've got an ankle problem. Uh, so there are different ways of putting that on. Uh, so it's actually extremely versatile. So this is Alice, uh, one of our support team members uh, who's been out climbing and unfortunately she's fallen and broken her femur. We'll have done uh, all our normal primary survey stuff at this point and uh, we're just going to be uh, putting on the traction splint now. So normally I'd be using a pair of scissors and getting down to skin but for this demonstration, we'll just leave Alice's trousers on and we will have given Alice some a strong pain relief. Uh, what we have done is mark the pedal pulse uh, so I can come back to it and check the blood supply after I've applied the traction splint. So the first thing that gets applied is the ankle strap. We try and put this on without moving Alice's leg because obviously it's painful for her. The next thing I do is I fit the, the splint and fit the groin strap. As we work up into the groin area. So I've got the groin strap applied and the ankle strap. So I now need to position the splint using these grub screws to the right length. I fit the splint into the cup of the ankle strap. And then I tighten the first screw. So at this point, the splint is on, it's in the right place. And then what I can do is now apply the traction by pulling on this lever here. And this will give a three to one mechanical advantage on the splint. And then I tighten it up, this screw here, which holds it in place. And that is now pulled the leg bones apart, hopefully relieve some pain. I've also marked with an X the pedal pulse on Alice's foot, and I'll just check that to make sure that the blood supply is still running to her foot. So the final thing we do is put the mid strap on, which we do by attaching it to the splint. And then this enables us to bring the two legs together. So now the splint's on, uh, Alice is ready to be put onto our mountain rescue stretcher and uh, taken away to hospital where she'll uh, need an operation on the leg. Alice's bones were like this. Um, we've managed to apply traction to pull them apart so they're more in line. So thanks for watching this video. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel uh, where we have plenty more videos like this.